this is Joe Roberts once again with another tutorial on the Tekkit pack. In this specific one I'm going to be talking about a cobblestone generator which does not use either block breakers or EE. Uh, both things are disabled on SG Tekkit. This is mostly targeted towards SG Tekkit. Now cobblestone is a resource which is very easy to come by but if you're going to be doing things like solars like HV solars, you need a lot of cobble. A single solar takes eight cobblestones, so if you're talking about a, an, a, uh, an HV array which takes 512 furnaces, <laughs> yeah, it's, you're going to need a lot of cobble, and you're not going to get that just by throwing it into the system. You want to find a way to automate it, and automating it without block breakers requires something like this. This is basically a cobblestone generator which abuses, of course, lava and water, but this is the IC2 miner, a relatively low technology piece of thing which works perfectly fine for our purposes. Basically, uh, this is the setup. I have power going to it. It can be any kind of power that you want, although note that those things take 20 EU per tick each. They are extremely power hungry so you need a an MV to run well you need a lot of power basically uh, they only take low voltage so I'm running it through since this is an MFSU I'm running it through an MV array or an MV transformer and then two LV transformers uh, I don't know how many LV transformers you would really need to do this uh, I don't know all that much about it myself, but I can tell you that I'm going to show you a video of something on the SG Tekkit server using one of these machines, and he has two LV transformers off it. But um, if you're only running these four, you you only need one transformer. It's, it's mostly like if you're running eight or twelve. Uh, basically, to set these things up, you need to have them two apart. That's important. If they're only one apart, then this one over here will start trying to mine this ore over here and messes with your whole system. Basically, uh, well, as you can see, this is basically how it's working. The miners mine down to this block, one block down, and then they mine one block over trying to get to the ore. However, as soon as they mine it, it's immediately refreshed by the water and lava, so they'll keep mining that one block, trying futilely to get to that ore, which is great because it fills your chest up with cobblestone. Uh, a single miner will produce a stack of cobble in approximately 2 minutes and 30 seconds, assuming perfect tick rate, which never happens, but running a bunch of them at a time will solve almost all of your automation issues. And since cobblestone can be macerated into sand and then smelted into glass, then it's an incredibly useful resource to have automated. Uh, in order to do this, basically each one of these machines has to have three things in it. Well, there's the miner itself, there's LV current coming to it, but inside the miner you need a diamond drill, because the, the iron drills don't go very quickly at all. They're very, very slow. But once you get your UU generator up and running, if you have that uh, reactor that I was talking about earlier in my previous videos, you're not going to... I mean, 9 UU for a single diamond is not really that expensive. Um, 2 mining pipe. Exactly 2. You don't need more. It's a waste if you do. And then an OD scanner. You can use an OV scanner, but that's entirely pointless, and it consumes more power, so whatever. Uh, and once you have those things, three things, then you just connect it to power, and as you can see, it goes down one, and then it starts mining. And cobble starts filling up this chest. Um, the miners will automatically fill up the chest that's immediately next to them, like, see there. Uh, but what I have these doing is that this retriever is taking cobblestone, only cobblestone and in a specific quantity. If that was empty, it would say, hey look, this thing has one cobble in it, I better take one cobble. Hey look, this thing has one cobble in it, better take one cobble. Hey look, it'll just keep doing that, and all of these other chests will fill up with cobble and will never get drawn out. So you have to have a finite number in there. I believe I talked that, about that in my Kazakh reactor video. Well, whatever. Um, this part right here is another is a very 
very important thing, especially if you're an SG Tech, it, please for the love of God do this, but this is an item detector, which will detect when this is full. You see uh, this setting right here, not this setting or this setting, but this setting right here will detect when this is full, because items will get stuffed back into the item detector, and then when something does get stuffed back in there, this will emit a redstone pulse, which goes through this redstone tube and sticks the retriever on. And since it's always on, it can no longer retrieve signals from this timer, and that timer will never trigger this again. Effectively, the retriever is turned off. Even if there's a clock timer going to it, the retriever is turned off until this chest isn't full anymore. And then it'll turn on back to normal operation. Uh, that's basically it, really. I mean, it's a simple little setup. You get the power, get it transformed down to LV, you get the miners, which are mining through the, uh, the material. Um, the thing to note here is that these, there's two lava source blocks on entirely flat ground. And then this water, it's a single water. It's not three waters. It's a single water which has holes on each side. And then with those holes, this water will flow into there, and then it'll never hit any of these blocks that the lava is actually in. It's not going to gunk up your machine. I mean, even if I were to, say, remove that block right there, like the ore block, then, you know what, I'll do that. Even if I were to return, remove that, it just turns into cobble. It doesn't mess with anything, although doing that will cause your miners to screw up, and then you have to take out the diamond drill, and then you have to wait for it to retract, and then you have to get the mining pipes out of there. It's all sorts of bad news. Um, be careful about losing the ore. Also, uh, one last thing I should mention. Don't leave this thing running while you're away from your chunk. If you leave your chunk while this thing is running, that ore will get mined, and then you'll have to reset everything on the whole thing. It's all sorts of bad news. So, in order to turn this off, what you do is you give a redstone signal to the transformers. Give me just a second here. Red alloy wire. Okay, so what you do is you give a redstone signal to the transformers. And what this does is that it tells the transformers to stop converting from high to low, and to instead convert from low to high. Now, basically, all that really means is that, see how that bar is full? You flick that, suddenly it's empty. So these miners are no longer being powered. It basically turns the transformer off, for all intents and purposes. And so these miners are no longer being powered, and so they're no longer mining. Uh, make sure that you have op switches for all of your machines, including, I should have one on this timer over here, uh, to make it compliant with SG Ticket rules. But as long as you have all of this, as long as you turn it off before you leave your chunk, that chunk block won't ever be mined, and this is basically just an infinite cobblestone generator without using block breakers or EE.